because a lot of times we have our way of thinking we go through a challenge that really does challenge us on a physical mental or an emotional level and then we change i'm on a journey to create the greatest movie experience in the world while i'm carving out my filmmaking entrepreneurial path i want to help you create yours let's make some movies Hi everyone, James Martin here. I'm here to help filmmakers to succeed in their career and to make better movies. Today I'm doing a very special video where I'm helping you how to create more convincing characters. And when I say convincing, I'm talking about characters that your audience will actually enjoy, will actually want to follow along on their journey, will want to get emotional with your heroes, will make you want to understand your villain's motivations even more. This is how you can create great characters, much better characters. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you gotta think about is their background. I really do believe that if you want your character to move forward in the story, you gotta think about more of their backstory, right? Every time they move forward, it's because of something in their background. Now, when I say their background, like their backstory, that includes their culture. Where do they grow up in? You know what I mean? If you're creating a fantasy world, obviously this is something make-believe. You might want to come up with a few ideas on how does that culture think? What's the general belief from that culture, right? Maybe it's got to do with religion, fantasy or not. You know, did they grow up in the Western civilization? Did they grow up in another area of the world? And if they did, you got to think about how do those people think? How do those type of cultures react? You got to think about your character's beliefs, right? What do they believe in? What do they not believe in? Are they religious? Are they not? What are their values? What are their morals? What's their opinion? Pixar has a fantastic tip on writing great characters and that is give your character an opinion on something. That always helps. So think about your character's process, their thinking habits, right? And what I also love doing is think about certain events that happened in their past, right? So you might actually want to think about well, you know, what did their character grow up doing? How do they meet their best friend? You know, when was the last time they got in trouble? When was the last time they felt happy? When was the last time they felt sad? What are the events that helped develop your character into the person they are today, right? I love coming up with events because it just, it helps me get a better understanding on who this character is, what do they have to deal with, so I can create much more believable characters and really, like anything that happens in the past really does affect your characters nowadays, right? Think about us as human beings, right? We are how we are today because of our upbringing, because of our past, because of certain events that have happened to us. So, think about your character's backstory. Rule number one. Second thing you gotta think about is your character's motivations. What drives them? What do they want? What is the challenge that they're trying to get over? Motivations equal decisions. When your character's in your story and they're coming up against a challenge, what's motivating them to go over that challenge? And a lot of times, and I feel especially for villains, there's not really a great motivation for these type of characters. That's why I always love referring back to like old Disney movies. Most villains have you know, some sort of reason. Maybe it's revenge. You know, revenge can be a great motive, right? Maybe it's Black Panther where you have the main villain who just wants to see the culture, the main society, actually open the resources to other people who are not benefiting from them, right? There's all sorts of great reasons, but your character needs a motivation, right? Having your hero just defeat the bad guy and the bad guy just wanna conquer the world and fight everyone, and destroy civilization and just they got to defeat the hero and blah 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 that's cliche that's been overused we got to think deeper we got to think outside the box what is your character's motivation now along the lines of motivation and beliefs how does your character think so again what are their values what type of a thinker are they maybe they are someone who just has a certain challenge a certain way of thinking and this can also help you throw challenges at them in order to change their ways of thinking. What, how does your character think? If a challenge comes thrown at them, how are they going to deal with that? How are they going to conquer it? You know, you could have a character who just automatically, magically just comes up with the right answer and the right way to overcome it. 
this is not really believable. You want your character just to have even a struggle. So maybe the way they think isn't the right answer, right? So there's all sorts of ways to play around with this, but think about how does your character think? My next tip, and this is huge, challenge your characters on a physical level, on a mental level, and on an emotional level, right? When I say physical, I mean like a literal challenge is right in front of them. When I, so I say like metaphorically, let's say there's a wall right in front of them. This is a physical challenge. This is something they physically need to go around. You know what I mean? This could be a villain. This could be something else, right? This could be chains. This could be a whole bunch of different options physical challenges, right? So you have your character go on a physical journey. Great. But what's their mental journey? What's their emotional journey? Maybe you have a character like Batman who had his parents killed and now he's on this emotional journey to get over the death of his parents, right? Maybe you have a mental change where your character thinks one way, by the end of the movie, they need to think some way else. This is development. So think about in your story, how does your character think? And then make sure you challenge them on that on every different level. And I really do find that mental, emotional, and physical challenges really help develop great characters. And as a bonus tip, last but not least, make it consistent. One of the biggest issues why some writers don't really do really well, why some stories are flawed, is due to inconsistencies. Right? Your character is supposed to go one way and then they go completely the other direction. So make sure that if your character goes by one way physically, emotionally, or, or mentally, they keep going at it like that unless there's a specific challenge and a lesson they learn that gets them to change. If they just automatically change for the sake of without a real reason why there should be that change, it's not believable. I mean, think about us as human beings. A lot of times we have our different ways of thinking and normally we don't really change it just like that. It comes from a lesson. It comes from a challenge being thrown at us. That's why we have the phrase, I learned it the hard way, right? Because a lot of times we have our way of thinking. We go through a challenge that really does challenge us on a physical, mental, or an emotional level. And then we change. And that said, I hope this video brought value to you. If it did, like the video, share this to other filmmakers that they benefit this as well. Please subscribe to the channel because not only does this help me, but I mean, I wanna give you all these videos. I wanna give you this value. I wanna help you to succeed as a filmmaker or maybe you're just enjoying my content. And if so, great, I love you guys. Please turn on the bell. That way YouTube actually notifies you when I post a video because I don't want you to miss out on anything, right? Good luck with your videos. Good luck with your character stories and I'll see you next time.